Yeah, I thought the latter was probably the most significant thing, which is that, uh, the, look, the tweets tell you that the president is certainly not going to back down. It's somewhat surprising for those of us who grew up in a house where the judiciary was worshipped to see the judiciary knock so easily. And it's not just, you know, one judge is the judiciary, it's a federal judge. But I think that the idea that there is a something that could work in between is something that Musk is really, uh, really kind of front and center with, saying, look, you, you got to work with the guy. And I think that, that when you have such a uniform protest and then you sit down, I mean, maybe this is the first example of there could be some compromise. It doesn't sound like it from the tweets, but this is a pretty austere group of people who are against this. And the list of 97 companies that uh, filed along with uh, or against the uh, the order uh, is pretty impressive. S&P 100 there, certainly the Nasdaq 100. Definitely a Nasdaq 100, yeah. without a doubt. I mean, yeah, um, Google certainly amongst them. Intel. I mean, you just go through it, uh, and you see most of technology. Yeah, I mean, these are real companies that really feel like that this is, you know, unintended. Obviously, an unintended uh, issue, but uh, big enough that they're not going to lay down. Um, I mean, it's going to go to the Supreme. I mean, it's going to go to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court's four four. I mean, I don't think, by the way, that for. I don't think this is going to be as left right as people think. I think that there are people in the, in the Supreme Court, if you look at them, who are Republican, who are uh, really kind of backing the federal court system. Sure. Uh, Dianne Feinstein, a top Democrat on the Judiciary Committee, says uh, no doubt in her mind it's going to go to SCOTUS. Right. Of course, uh, the appellate court has given the DOJ until 6 o'clock Eastern tonight to file their briefs. Meanwhile, the president this morning, of course, over the weekend, right. tweeted about so called Judge Robart. And he cut the um, Ninth Circuit. The Ninth Circuit's so liberal. I mean, the Ninth Circuit has been so liberal I, I, for as long as I remember. I mean, it was a bad draw for the president. <laughs> Never, True, although you know. he is a. He's a George H.W. Right, but the, ninth, uh, point the, the Court of Appeals is very little, but absolutely, and that's one of the things Sorry, that I think w took our, uh, uh, took our yeah, breath yeah. away. I think a lot of us was like, that was not, that's why I say it's not, maybe not as a Republican-Democrat issue. So, I mean, wait, uh, again, this morning, another tweet, if something happens, blame him, right. the president says. It's I mean, kinda, are you bothered at all by that? Does, should investors bother, even... Does anyone care if I'm, you know, I don't, personally? Yeah, personally, I just think that... But again, I mean, I just, it depends on the way you grew up. It depends on the way you feel about the judicial branch and how you just. Well, there is a belief that this could foreshadow what will be the largest impediment to the Trump agenda, which is the courts. Right. And a lot of things will end up in the courts, not just this immigration right. ban, but other things. And then back to our audience and what I think they care about, will it in any way affect the timing right. and or the ability to actually move forward on the deregulatory slash tax reform agenda that the business community embraces. Interestingly, the business community here not embracing, at least in the form of many of those companies you just saw, this immigration ban. So it kind of all does play together to a certain extent. Right, I mean, Gary Cohn was on our show talking about how, look, the, you know, we're going to get repatriation, we're going to get the corporate tax reform, yeah, right? I mean, we're, we're already yes, deregulating. he said he's confident. He's confident. He's, he's confident. Why is he confident? Because he's confident. Yes. Well, a lot of balls in the air. It's kind of circular reasoning. It is. I'm confident because I'm confident. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.